This video is going to discuss a, a number of topics just uh, related to our class, not really related to Visual Basic. Um, so uh, the first thing I'd like to talk about is the whole notion of your PB um, worksite, your PB work uh, portfolio. Um, I really want you all to consider your PB work site a complete portfolio of your work for this term. So over the 10 weeks, whenever you create any code, essentially I want you to upload that code and paste it into your PB worksite. So I've had a number of people asking me, you know, what, what do they need to upload to the PB worksite? Well, you need to upload essentially every Visual Basic program that you write. So as we go through the videos and I ask you to either practice with sample code that I give you or practice um, or actually solve a problem and write a program on your own, um, those programs need to be uploaded to your PB worksite. Simply create a new weekly page for your code. That way you'll break your code at least up into the 10 weeks of the term so that uh, it's not just a kind of confusing mess that I can't figure out. And uh, that probably should suffice. If you would like to, on each weekly page, add some uh, links to the various programs to actually give each program a page of its own, rather than having one long page with a bunch of different postings on it, um, that might be a little bit better organization. Uh, you can use your best judgment on that one. So the next thing I'd like to do here is I'd like to actually talk about uploading your workbook to PB works so that not only do I have the code, but I might have the workbook. So I'm just going to show you that uh, I've got this little Fahrenheit and Celsius program here. And uh, let's say that I went ahead and, and I typed in my code um, and I was all ready. And I, you know, I think everything was working like a champ and I tested it out with my buttons. Um, I'd like to upload this code to my uh, PB works site. So that's a fairly simple matter. Let's go ahead and uh, just go through those steps. So I'm going to go to my uh, week two page here, and um, it's going to say, "Okay, you want to create your page?" Yes, I do. And on that page, I'm going to I'm going to put my temperature uh, temperature conversion button code on this page, and so. Uh, I, I think I'll just go ahead and have a brand new page for that. So I'm going to say add link, and uh, I want to go to a brand new page. And so I'm going to hit the save button on that. So now I want the page for that. So it says uh, name your new page. I'll create the page. And I want to post my code right there. So I'm going to go back over to my uh, Visual Basic, and I'll just select all here and uh, copy that. And now I need to come back over to my PB Works, and uh, I need to, of course, remember to do the pre-formatted and paste that code in there and hit save. So now, of course, there's my code on the page, but what I'd like to do is I'd actually like to also link in my workbook. So to link in my workbook, I'm going to have to upload my workbook into this uh, into this PB Works. So over to the right, you'll notice there's this uh, Upload Files button. So I'm going to just go ahead and click Upload Files. And now I need to uh, f upload the uh, workbook. So I'm looking at this Upload Files here, and I'm saying to myself, OK, what do I do? And well, there's a button here that says Upload Files. All right, So I'll go ahead and click that Upload Files button, and now it asks me for the file. So now I have to go find that file, and uh, I'll go into my libraries here and see if it's there. There's my documents go into my CS122 eCourse, my code folder, and here's my practice temperature Excel SM document. So I'll double click that, and it's uploading the file, and indeed there it is, now it's uploaded. So that's all well and good. Now I need to go back to my uh, page and, uh, and find that uh, page I wanted to get onto. So that particular page, of course, you know, I can scroll through here, I can say, okay, where was that page? Well, there's my week two page. What if I go to my week two page? And there's my temperature conversion button. And now I'm back on that page. So what I need to do is I, uh, I need to add a link on this page. And uh, I think editing uh, editing uh, my text here would be a good way to go. So I'll click Edit. And one way to edit the link is I can actually just highlight this option explicit. That's kind of a crazy way to do it, I suppose. Um, and make that a link, right? Well, let's try it. Add link. And it says add link to what? 
add link to, and I got these options here, PBWorks file, oh, okay, and then select the file, and there's my temperature file right there. So there's my link type, it's a PBWorks file, and I've linked it to the actual file I wanted, so I click OK. And now it's created that as a link, and I should just be able to go ahead and save this now. And there it is saved, and that link should link me to that file. So if I click on that, it says, do you want to open this? And um, in this particular case, uh, I, I guess I will open it so we can just see what's going to happen with that. Actually, I'm not going to because I already have the file open, and it would choke on that. But that's all I have to do. So that's a nice way you could actually link it right into your source code. Uh, that top option explicit, which everyone should have on all their source code, could link right to the source file. The next thing I want to show you is something that you can do if you get stuck and you need some help. If you get stuck and you need some help, um, you know, there's lots of different ways to go here, but essentially, the, how do you get the help you need? And, and I guess that's kind of the question of the hour. Well, you can, you can come in and see me. You could uh, call me on the telephone at my office phone number, 541-383-7723. Of course, you got to try that during an office hour. Um, but another way, and Jason and one of your students, uh, one of your fellow students in this class has done this, and uh, it's very cool, and, and Jason just hit a home run on this one. But there is a, a, there is a piece of software that you can install on your computer for free that's called Jing, J-I-N-J. -J. And Jing is a piece of software that will allow you to essentially capture a video of your screen, and you can also... You can also uh, put sound on this. So I'm just going to show you briefly here. This is Jason's video. I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but uh, here's Jason's video. And is it going to play? Uh, well, it, there it goes. And Hi, Peter. This is Jason Therity. I am in your uh, CIS 122 online course. I am currently working on the temperature conversion uh, macro. So anyway, you can you can see um, he had not only his uh, Excel window on the screen, but he had his code window on the screen. Um, he was able to speak uh, very clearly into his microphone and tell me exactly what his questions were related to what he was working on. Um, this is a fantastic tool. If you just search on the Internet for Jing, J-I-N-G, you can find that. You can go ahead and sign up for that. It's all free. It hosts the videos for you. It's It's the coolest thing in the world please explore that option. I, I can't stress that enough as a fantastic tool to get the help maybe that you need. Um, one other issue that I wanted to ask about is a lot of you have not made me an editor on your on your PBWorks site. So I'd like to be an editor on your PBWorks site so that maybe I could actually add something to your code. And you'll notice that uh, under the um, Let's see, where is that? Maybe it's under the, oh yeah, Invite More People button here on the right side in PBWorks. If you click this button, you'll notice that it allows you to add a user, and you can type in pkc at coc.edu and add me as an editor. If you wanted to, you could also add Jesse Stewart um, as an editor and uh, add him so that he could maybe make some changes or something on the site if it was appropriate to do so. So I encourage you to... Uh, Go ahead and add me, please, as an editor to all of your uh, to all of your uh, PB Works sites. Okay, um, and I think that's it for now. If you have questions, keep them coming. I really appreciate the questions I've been getting. Thank you very much.